In Truth 10, we learn that we are the church. When Jesus saves us, he doesn't just leave us off by ourselves, but he brings us into his church. He brings us into the community of Christians. And as the church, we accomplish the work of Jesus on the earth. In Truth 11, we're going to look at another aspect of being a Christian. We're called to serve. We've already seen that life isn't about us. It's about God, and it's about other people. And as a result, God calls us to serve him and to serve others. The Bible has a lot to say about serving, but I want to begin by looking at a story from the life of Jesus. This is one of the most profound examples of serving in all of the Bible. In John 13, 4 and 5, we read this. So he, Jesus, got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. Now these actions might seem a little strange at first. I'm not sure the last time you washed someone's feet. You have to understand that 2,000 years ago, people had stinky feet. Now you may have stinky feet, but everybody did 2,000 years ago. You see, in Jesus' day, everybody traveled by foot, and many people were barefoot all the time. And even if you did wear sandals, they were pretty small, and they didn't really cover a lot of your feet. You also shared the road with animals. So people were constantly walking in mud, dirt, and dung. Your feet would stink if you had walked around Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. And so when you went to a nice dinner, the first thing that would happen is that someone would wash your feet. As you can imagine, this was normally the least important person who would do this task. But look what Jesus does here. He sees this as an opportunity to teach his disciples. And so he gets up and he washes their feet. This is especially amazing for the disciples. Several times throughout their time with Jesus, they've argued over who was the most important among them. Who was going to be number two in heaven after Jesus? And look what Jesus does. He washes their feet. Then notice what he says in verses 14 through 17. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. I tell you the truth. Slaves are not greater than their master, nor is the messenger more important than the one who sends the message. Now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. Jesus said, look, if I can wash your feet, you can wash each other's feet. In other words, you can serve each other. No matter who you are, you can serve. What we find here is that Jesus models for us a life of service. And we don't just see that in the story. We see it throughout his entire life. He was a servant. Jesus came in the form of a servant. He didn't just command us to serve others and never get his hands dirty. His hands were constantly dirty. And look what he says in Mark 10.45 when he talks about his ministry on the earth. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus loved to call himself the Son of Man. It was a title for the Messiah, God's chosen Savior. And Jesus, the Son of Man, God himself, didn't come to this earth to be served, but to serve others. And his greatest act of service isn't washing his disciples' feet. It's going to the cross to die for our sins. This teaches us so much about Jesus and so much about God. This shows us the character of God. The picture of God in the Bible is so different than the picture of God in any other religion. In what other religion would God come down to the earth and come in the form of a servant? But that's exactly what Jesus did. Because he wanted to help us, Jesus came to serve us. He didn't come to this earth and say, hey, serve me. He got on the cross to serve us, to die for our sins. This also shows us the love of God. God loves us so much that he would do anything to save us. It was love that motivated Jesus to wash his disciples' feet, and it was love that motivated him to go to the cross. And this also shows us God's desire for our lives. As we've already pointed out, Jesus modeled service for us throughout his life. He wasn't only serving us, he was also showing us how we need to serve other people. But understand, Jesus didn't just command you to serve. He spent his life serving you first. We're going to talk about that in the next video, but before we do that, pause this video and discuss these questions.